being being that I I do that very well, um, I think this team needs that, you know, along with you know some other things. So um, I didn't come here to to just be a rebounder, or you know, I came here to bring my skill set to this team and um, you know and, and and fit into kind of what's the plan. I haven't I haven't sat down with coach yet to see kind of you know how we're going to play, what we're going to do, and schemes and things like that, but. For the most part, I just want to be be able to do what I do best um, within the confines of you know the, the system and what coach won and um, and being being able to work alongside alongside Russ and and, and PG. Carmelo, uh, you only get one chance to make a first impression. They say, what was your first impression? The fans beating you at the airport. Your first Unbelie impression? Oklahoma unbelievable, City. like unbelievable. You know, to go from a situation where it was just so. You know, it, it, it was an emotional roller coaster for me. Uh, you know, being back in New York, um, <clears throat> at times it was it was it was very strenuous on myself, on my family. Uh, you know, my family is actually, you know, still there back. You know, back in New York. So I just want to take my hat off to them for being able to stick it stick it out with me and and, and deal with that and deal with me after, you know, the long nights and the lonely nights and, but to come here on the flip side of that and just feel that passion and feel that energy. Um, and anytime you feel wanted and appreciated, you know that, that you can't even put those, you know, those feelings into words. What, Carmel, what's your history with Billy Donovan? How well do you know each other, and what are your thoughts on him as a coach? I don't really, honestly, I really don't. I mean, I have no, I have no history with with Coach. Um, you know, so that's going to be another an, another process uh, that we have to get used to. But um, I respect him. Uh, Hall of Fame coach, I respect him. I know his, you know, I, I know his pedigree. I know it, you know, his, his resume. I know what he's about. Um, technically speaking, he's a young coach, and you know, in in, in this league, uh, still learning. Uh, but I'm, I'm all in. I'm all in with him. You know, whatever he needs from me, I'm, I'm there. Uh, you know, he can communicate with me. He can come talk to me. I can come talk to him. Um, and I think that's the way that we, we're going to make this thing work. And you know, I'm, I'm I'm letting him coach. I'll be the player, and you know, I I respect that, and we go from there. Um, Melo, I had two questions actually. The first is, um, how do you feel about you know starting at the four, or the concept of starting at the four, or even coming <coughs> off of the bench? And the second question is, who me? Oh. <laughs> 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 I, guess, I guess that answers that part. I, I mean, I don't know where that started, where that came from. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, P, they said I got to come off the bench. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, well, how do you, <laughs> I guess the bench question is not a, not a question. But um, how do you feel about the potential of starting at the four? And then um, on a lighter note, how do you feel about the phenomenon of hoodie mellow? <laughs> um, the first part is to, to speak on playing the four. Uh, I won't even call it the power forward position anymore in, in this day and game. Uh, it's a four, you know, it, 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 it's a number. You're out there on the basketball court, uh, it's a position. Uh, I don't feel no type of way. I feel like, you know, there has been times where I've been my strongest at, at that position. Um, and, it, you know, like I said earlier, I, I can adjust. You know, if you need me to play the three, that's which is my natural position, I would do that. You need me to play the four, which is, you know, I, I think I, I can actually be a lot, a lot better uh, at the four with this team. Um, then I'll do that. You know, and I'll be moving around, so I, you know, I'll be moving around. But I have no problem with playing the four. None at all. I actually, I actually uh, like that. I actually embrace that. Um, and I think for this team, uh, it would be better for me to play the four and more, more beneficial to everybody. And the hoodie mellow thing. Um, you know, it, it for me it was just it actually, actually it started with a a beanie. Like I was just in the gym and I didn't have a haircut and I was like, I'm just gonna go and throw a hat on. I wanted to sweat and I just started working back out in the summer and then from there it went to a hoodie and it got out and the phenomenon started. But it for me it was just about showing a different focus that I have, a different motivation and just kind of just locking in uh, to what I have to do and locking myself into the gym and locking myself in to focusing in on my body and, 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 and because I didn't know what was going to happen. So it was just so much going on that was surrounding me that I just wanted to find a way that I can just focus in. And uh, that's when Hoodie, Hoodie, Hoodie Mellow was created. 
Carmelo, can you tell us where Dwayne Wade will be playing this year? Where is he? Uh, I have no idea, to be honest with you. I would love to have him here in Oklahoma City, but am I allowed to say that? Is, is that tampering? Oh, he's free now? Come on, D. You, you, know, you, you know where you belong at. Come on. That's all I'm going to say.